So, yeah. Welcome guys to my channel. So we are today for the first time at uh, FinTech uh, Istanbul Summit uh, that is located at uh, Fisikhane. As you know that I'm super passionate about FinTech banking and payments and I've decided just to visit with uh, uh, so m and uh, Advisory Consulting Services so with Fisikhane Istanbul FinTech Summit today. Uh, and I think that today I'm going to highlight some uh, interesting uh, people here uh, so from the speakers as well. Let's go to to the main organizer and the founder uh, of this uh, FinTech week. This is actually fifth FinTech week for the uh, last uh, four or five years, I can say. But the location based is really great. I love it. So many uh, super cool restaurants, really nice uh, so weather and vibrant people. So let's go with me. Thank you. First of all, thanks a lot for uh, organizing this great event. This is, here is uh, one of the founders and organizers of this FinTech Week. It's actually fifth FinTech Week uh, of uh, Turkey. And uh, by location-wise, it's a uh, second, uh, so, right? Second time that That's you are. Correct. And uh, so the organizers and founders' name is Mustafa Baltaje, who is the founder of Coop Ventures. And uh, as far as I know, you have also the same like passion for FinTech payments and digital banking. Banking. Please uh, let me know like about your small feedback uh, on this fintech ecosystem that is being evolved on this Turkish market. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you here as well. Uh, so as you said, this is the fifth gathering of this. Um, I guess it's the largest, uh, one of the largest, you know, tech events. Not only fintech, tech events in, in Turkey. And uh, so we started doing that uh, based on the fact that the community was not getting together. So we just wanted to build this networking opportunity for everyone involved, including banks, including insurance companies, capital market brokerages, asset managers, the list goes on, but mostly for the startups and entrepreneurs. So they would be able to get together, mingle with each other and present the opportunities with these corporates. That was the idea. I guess, you know, um, looking backward over these, you know, five years, we have achieved something significant in a way. So, uh, well, perhaps you can see from the, the supporters, the partners of the event, we have uh, multiple banks. This is something quite important. Why? Because we came up with this idea of building this ecosystem around this event. This is something quite important. Why? The banks are not easy to deal with all the time in terms of, uh, you know, uh, positioning together with the other banks. So you see, they are together here. And uh, this is the first point. Second point is that we also bring different worlds together here. I mean, so to say, Web 1, Web 2 uh, worlds, they also get together with Web 3. And uh, it's not quite easy to understand for the conventional, traditional institutions to embrace the opportunity as well as the challenges with this new world, so to say. And I, th I think this is the second one. The third one is, this is not a local event. This is an international get-together. So that's why we have five countries presenting their ecosystem, including Kazakhstan, including Azerbaijan, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, and Ukraine too. And uh, every year we have different countries, so they would be able to, you know, meet with the Turkish, you know, ecosystem players here. So these three elements, I think they are quite important and they are defining what we do here. And coming back to, to, to myself, my background, uh, I have this also diverse background in the financial services industry too. And uh, I, I was C-level executive at Istanbul Stock Exchange for five years. And before that, I was uh, a, a board member of one of the largest banks in Turkey. And today, um, I mean, it, it's, it's been almost you know, 10 years now, I'm in fintech, as you said. And um, alongside inside my partner, uh, so we are basically running this consulting business for the last 10 years. Uh, besides this event, we also do a lot of you know, activities in the fintech industry. Not only again in Turkey, but also around. We have our own, 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 own company too, based in the Baltics. So we also provide technology services too. And uh, on top of this, uh, I guess uh, what I can say is that um, I'm also uh, active in the Baltics and uh, also in the, in the Caucasus, in Central Asia. So uh, I'm sitting on various you know, boards or the banks. So the point is, this is not a typical event for the event marriage. This is an event where the practitioners, executives and entrepreneurs get together. That's how we designed it. So that's really spectacular. So as a main opinion maker, so you are kind of creating a sandbox for giving an opportunity and connecting the Web2 and Web3, traditional finance and banks, with the emerging fintech so projects, right? 
So tell us like a bit more about the Cook Ventures as well. How do you nurture the projects there, please? So um, we, I guess, uh, started the first ever fintech hub in Turkey back in 2017 through Coop Ventures. And uh, it's based on cooperation, you know, working together. That is the idea. Um, so um, certainly, I mean, uh, we have come a long way since then. Uh, today, but we have our business has also evolved, mostly, you know, working towards medium-sized companies because startups, uh, they need to work more with the accelerators, if not incubators. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a challenging work. It's not quite easy and it, it requires some uh, quite, you know, big muscles, either supported by the government or big entities, this and that. So that's why we still work with the startups and uh, the, the scale-ups. But uh, today our focus is mostly on the medium-sized companies in terms of their expansion plans, growth strategies and all. This is what we do today. Yeah. And the last question is, Mustafa, is uh, you are adding really great value to the fintech ecosystem and one of the uh, so fastly developing niches is a cryptocurrency aspect. And what do you think about like Turkish market? Uh, will it be some kind of a changes in the crypto regulation, some, some new regulations, etc.? Well, Turkey is quite hot in terms of the crypto market. I mean, the, the customer base is very big. The retail market is, uh, is, is quite you know, large and vibrant. This is one of the, the aspects of the Turkish, you know, Turkish consumption market, and crypto is definitely a resonation to that. And um, I guess for the last 10 years we have crypto exchanges, and they are enabling their customers. And banks are quite positive and friendly working with the crypto exchange. This is something quite important, and that's why there is this fiat gateway, inbound, outbound. Uh, it is also sort of uh, speeding up the, the, the progress in the crypto uh, industry. And uh, finally, the, the government is also taking action. And there is this draft law, and uh, I think it's going to be adopted by the parliament very soon. It's also going to be leveling up the playing field in terms of the trading facilities. And crypto exchanges will be regulated, will be licensed, and uh, the brokers will be there also you know, licensed towards you know, crypt crypto trading activities too. And I think it is also going to be another turning point for the crypto market in Turkey. So thanks a lot for your insight and your feedback. Here's Mustafa Baltaji, who is the founder of Cook Ventures and the FinTech Week. Uh, so thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah.